60 Cycle Hum's coverage of Winter NAM 2020 is brought to you by Singular Sound, Coast Sonic, Line 6, Harmony Guitars, Dario Strings, and Rev Amplifiers. <laughs> playing this Novo Solus. That's what it says on the headstock. Solus. Solus? Solus. Solus. I'm getting first impressions. I pressed record and just started uh, playing this thing. I hadn't messed with it at all or checked it out. Really fun relic. Solus F1. I've just been informed. It's got a single Telecaster style bridge pickup. Telecaster bridge uh, hardware here. It's got this like super wood textured sort of thing going on like they, like they sandblasted the wood a little bit and then they sprayed it metallic blue and then they gave it to a man completely made out of sandpaper and asked him to play it for a while to get that nice relic. And then they threw it out in the snow and then put it by the fireplace to get that temperature cracking. That's what they did, right? Super, super charming, though. Right off the bat, comfortable player. I fell right into it. Fell right in. It, it made me play what I played. I didn't choose to do that. And the satin finish on the back of the neck with a bit of a flame hiding in there in the glossy areas. This is a stylish guitar. I like the shape. Got ah, tons of bite to it. Twang for days. Volume works. Tone works. What else do you need? Wonder if you can roll that off. Get a little bit of a hint of like a neck pickup tone. Sometimes I find if a, uh, you know, the tone caps are just right, you can get a really convincing neck tone out of a single pickup guitar. Fun, 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 guys. This is a fun player. It nails that kind of like modern, boutique, vintage, relic, high character, high charm sort of vibe. I love just the uh, kind of brutalist, primordial quality of it. Man, when you film 60 videos at NAM, you start getting inventive. <laughs> with what you say about them. <laughs> How are the frets, you ask? A little bit tactile on the ends, but they're dressed very uh, chromey and glossy and high polish. But they're not bitey at all. It's, there, it's that style of fret that I find on a lot of like boutique style guitars where you just can kind of feel them. You can feel them on the edge, but it's not a bad feeling. It's a tactile thing. Do you prefer a fret that you just can't feel at all, it completely disappears, or do you prefer a fret where you can feel it just a little bit, just a little, little soft, bumpy, bumpy? Tell me what you think down in the comments. <laughs> This is Derek from Rev Guitars. Hello, Ryan. Guitars, Rev Amplifiers. Yeah, Rev, well, maybe guitars, who knows? Yeah, maybe you'll make a guitar. And you can you make me a guitar? Yeah, pedals. I don't, I can't make you a guitar. Well, then there's no Rev Guitars. Yeah, I can make you mustard. 
We ate all your mustard, you and I'm all not joking. The mustard? It's been on every sandwich that we've had the last two days. It's awesome. I gave him some homemade mustard, and he's a mustard collector. Well, I wouldn't say I'm a collector. I'm a connoisseur. You eat all the mustard, so you don't collect it. That's right. I can't collect it. Did you just it. eat it with a spoon? You're just like, oh, mustard. No, I should have tried that. They <laughs> used it all in the sandwiches. <laughs> Bye, 60 cycle hum people. Bye, everyone. With that, I'll play out with some. I'll go. I'll go through some sounds, and we'll play out. Call it a day before Nam gets too crazy. Man, I love a tele pickup. And the bridge, they're just kind of throaty while being bright. Punch right, right below your balls, like almost your balls, but just below them. It's threatening and it's abrupt, but it doesn't leave you with a tummy ache. This sounds good on everything. Here's a uh, deluxe reverb patch. I'm all out of riffs. 60 videos in four days. I'm all out, guys. You know, this guitar has something that a uh, friend of the show buddy of mine, Jay Leonard Jay, complains about. Uh, he doesn't like it when uh, Telecaster bridges have the long screws. He wants the shorter screws, and that's what this has. Some people will put the bridge farther back and do longer screws to do a softer brake angle off the back of the bridge saddle. And he thinks it changes it in a way that causes it to not sound as good because then you're getting different distance across a string, across the pickup, I go talk, to, go talk to him. He's got this whole theory about it. But this one's got a nice sharp break angle behind those saddles. All right, let's do some high gain stuff. I don't know why I went straight for that. <laughs> sounds great on every setting so far. I mean, here's Fuzz. Fuzz makes everything better. Where am I going with this? I gotta stop before it's too late. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Please like, subscribe. Leave rude and nasty comments. Support us on Patreon. Click the links down below. To show the sponsors that you appreciate this content.
do appreciate this content. <laughs> Toilet time would be so much more boring if you didn't have this content to keep you occupied. Lovasse well, Los Manos. Wash those hands, boys. <laughs> shot for the thumbnail. <laughs>